So I'm sitting here with Mark Horning, H-O-R-N-I-N-G. Where yes, are you sir. from, Mark? I am from Denver, Colorado, Aurora, actually. How long have you been here? I've been here for uh, almost two months. Two months. Two months. What made you decide to come here? Uh, it's a complicated answer, a lot of reasons, but uh, I had a friend who sent me here, and I'm also am looking for a place to retire, and this is the first place I truly investigated. Okay, so this is not a retirement trip right now. You're more investigating or See, exploring? Yes. Is this the only place you've been? Yes, this is my first stop. My Your first, first stop. Yeah. Where are you going from here? I leave to Spain next week. N next week? Yes, next oh. Monday, actually. Oh, who are you flying on? Air Europa. Air Europa. It's like an eight-hour flight so, to Madrid. Oh, my. So when did you start planning all of this? Last year. Um, fall. In the fall. Yeah, when I started recovering from my hip surgery and started feeling better, I knew I could make the trip. But you're not re quite retirement age just yet. Uh, no, but I've been retired for seven years. Okay. And you don't want to retire in the United States, or do you? Or is that even a thought? I would love to actually retire in the United States, but I really truly can't afford to mm -hmm. and live the life I want to live. Right, right. So you're going to go to Spain. I'm going to go to How Spain. long are you going to stay there? Two months. And then where are you going from there? The Seychelles. The, the what shells? The, <laughs> the Seychelles. The Seychelles. It's, yeah, it's in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. It's a group of about 150 islands uh, east of uh, Ethiopia, Somalia. Yeah. Do you have yeah. family back home? In, in the United family? States? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Wife? No. Kids? Uh, yes. Three I'm kids, three, three grandchildren. grandchildren. What do they think about you doing this? Oh, they love it. They said, Dad, go do what makes you happy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're yeah. truly supportive. So what did you do for a career? I was an IT professional. Like me? Yes, indeed. I, we worked on the same type of systems. We are Unix professionals. Yeah. That was yeah. me. So we're both poor. <laughs> <laughs> we're that's both accurate. broke and we can't afford to live anywhere. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's why, we, that's why we're looking for other <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> No, that's a great career. I, if I, uh, do you ever miss it? You sometimes wish you could. I love that work. Continue doing it. You know? I love that work. You ever think about doing it like contracting on the side? I have up until uh, last year. So, so this is not really about this video interview, but it's a good time for me to ask this question okay. because I'm finally getting to talk to somebody that's from the same arena that I came from, yeah. and I want to know, as an IT professional speaking mm -hmm. from one to another. Yes. What do you think AI is going to do to the IT industry? It's going to make a change. Um, I think it's going to be like um, when assembly lines came in. Yeah. When it, everything was made one off by hand and then assembly lines came in. It's like in any kind of manufacturing thing. There are going to be a lot of jobs lost. There's going to be a lot of people lost. But we've yeah. been dealing with this for decades now. They've yeah. been wanting to cut our, out, you know, they want us to do more with less. That's just... You know, and AI, I think, is going to be similar, but we'll right. adjust and we'll find our own niche around AI supporting that somehow. That's how I feel. Yeah, it's a very controversial subject right yes, now. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, I don't want to go into that because okay. that's, we, we'll just bore people, you know. Yeah. But now, so you've been in Ecuador now for how long this time? Uh, seven weeks, actually. Seven weeks now. About seven or eight weeks. So, yes. in a nutshell, what do you think about Ecuador? I love Ecuador. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been here in Ecuador? I have spent most of my time on the mid coast near Montanita and uh, in a little town there that I just really truly love um, based on my background from where I, I have lived previously. It's similar. Uh, but then I've been to Cuenca and the areas surrounding there. Spent a week there. Uh, then I went to Quito and I spent actually two weeks in Quito, which was a uh, not my plan. My plan was just a couple of days, but I really liked Quito. There, mm -hmm. it's you know, it's it's a medium-sized, large city, and it has the vibrancy and uh, you know the people. You know, it's not as friendly as the coast, right? Because people, it's a city, right? Yeah. So we have the impersonalness of, the, of of people in the city who are busy. But there's a lot to do there, and the places I was at was safe. I never felt uncomfortable. I liked it, uh, but it was too cold. Yeah. And so I'm here in Monta now for a few days to visit, um, you know, and uh, the beach and to visit you and, and mm -hmm. Ace. And, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying it. 
Yeah, if the people don't know that uh, my buddy GMA is sitting over here on the floor, off the camera left. Woo. <laughs> 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 but but so so I'm asking you a question. Tell me the honest to gospel truth. See. Anything you don't like about this place? What I don't like about it, I don't know if I've been here long enough to have some really strong opinions anyway, but you know, it's, it's different than scheduling and stuff and, and things like that are different. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, accessibility to certain comforts and things that I was used to in the United States is different. Mm -hmm. But I was somewhat prepared for that. And, and so um, what I don't like, yeah, I think that's the kind of thing. It's accessibility to certain goods and things, especially the area I'm at, right? right. I mean, it's difficult to go out and, and buy certain things. It's difficult to even, there's only one bank with a human being in Montanita, right. okay? Right. And so how difficult is that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of stuff. And, and convenience for certain objects and and. and if you want to have packaged goods and, and live a life like a suburban or city person in the United States, it may be difficult for you to to to, yeah. to put your head around. That's that's those things I've seen. Yeah. That bother me. You ever had any moments here where you got scared? No, not really. Okay, I, it's, yeah. That's good. So you're going to leave here. You're going to Spain. Yes. How long is this all going to take before you decide where you want to go? It'll be next year. Next year. I'm so back. you're going to spend some time doing this. Yes. I'm going to be in the United States for New Year's to visit my children. Mm -hmm. And then I have to go back in May because my uh, granddaughter's 16th birthday, she told me I had to be there. That's my only obligation. Yeah. yeah, for the next year. That's my only that obligation. sounds like a direct order. It was a direct order. And yeah. one I gladly yeah. will yeah. fulfill. <laughs> so if I may ask, uh, what is your age? I'm 63. 63. So you're still... Yes. Relatively young compared yes. to a lot of expats here. Yes, I noticed Especially that. Especially to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't get the benefits that I do. No. But it'll be here soon enough. Yes. So where are you actually going in Spain? I'm, I'm really curious about that because there's a, a lot of people like to compare Ecuador to Spain and vice versa. Right. You know, there's a, I've met quite a few people here that left here and went to Spain and then came back. Not quite a few, but I've met people that have done right. that. Right. I mean, what what is it about Spain that's drawing you there? It's the place, uh, the history. It's mm -hmm. a place I've always wanted to be. You know, human beings have been marching around that peninsula for 70,000 years. Yeah. Neanderthals for 300,000 more than that, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of humanity there. Yeah. A lot of history there. The Romans were there, the Moors. Um, I've always wanted to go to Costa del Sol. Yeah. So you're going to look for love in your retirement <laughs> when you get to wherever you're going to be? If it finds me, yes. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's a good way to look at it. That yeah. is, you know. And I've already uh, met someone here that's surprisingly in my short time here. Oh, wow. Which is kind of Is she going to go to Spain with you? Uh, actually, she is going to go to Spain. She's going to Barcelona in August. Oh, my. So whether we see each other or not, I'll be there at that time. So okay. But she's I, going. She was already planning. Oh, yeah. This was already a plan okay, for her. All right. She's yeah. going to visit her, one of her granddaughters there. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, how, I'm going how to. How old is she? Well, that's too personal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know exactly. I, say, what is she? She's like 30. <laughs> Sugar mama. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We won't go into we that. We won't go we yeah. won't go into that. Yeah. Actually it's nobody's damn business, you know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I, I don't think she yeah, I don't I never even directly asked her. That's not yeah. a thing you ask a lady. Yeah. How'd you meet this guy over here? This I met GMA. him I met Ace uh through uh the videos on YouTube from Ecuador when how, I was how can you have time to meet another YouTuber when you've already seen my stuff? Well, you know it's I mean, amazing, isn't it? It's, it's you know, there's so, there's only so many hours in a day, but I managed to sneak <laughs> that that couple seconds in and, and caught one of his, you know. So I think it's his smile. Yeah. Maybe it's his smile or or <laughs> his it's his uh, his attitude is very contagious. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So, do you watch other YouTubers? 
And that's Some, okay yes. if you do. I'm not, oh, absolutely. You know, I'm yeah. always curious. Well, yeah, you have to, right? There's sure. so, such a variety, and everybody has a different opinion. Yeah. And I wanted uh, a well-rounded opinion. Yeah. And um, what I will say is that you, what you do has been of, a, of a, you know, immense service to me. Well, thank you. I want to thank you yeah. for that. And as we talked about, you know, there's, a, uh, there's multiple times instances mm -hmm. that what you have told me, I either followed or didn't, and, and I have <laughs> suffered those results, I'm either I'm positive or negative. <laughs> I think there's some people who are saying, do what, see what Don says, and we'll do just the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, then you're going to get exactly what Don says. <laughs> so, but now, as far as, I mean, what are your thoughts about what's going on in the U.S. right now? I mean, we, we, we hear all these stories. I mean, we know what it's like. We, yeah, we, we know what it's like. We hear you know, if you had to go back, would you go back? Absolutely. I'm an yeah. American. I love America. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, God, you know, there's... A lot of things need to get fixed. There, it's, it's a different country than it was 20 years ago mm -hmm. and a different country than when I grew up in, in, in so many ways. Um, right. So, um, boy, that's such a hard topic, you know? Yeah, it is. It's very hard. I, and I... I I never know what to think. I, I I hear what people say and it pisses me off, and then I sometimes I just want to tell them shut up. Yeah. But then the other time I want to say what was that? <laughs> you know. Yeah. So is that really true or you know? And I hope that's not the truth. Yes. But it is what it is. You know, you know. One of the things for me is leaving the United States and to to come do this and then wanting to live somewhere else is an eye-opening experience for me and yeah. uh, takes me a bit out of my comfort zone but also it's it's in my mind mm -hmm. a way to deprogram because i'm programmed to be an american mm -hmm. and i'm brainwashed to be an american right that's yeah. the propaganda i've lived for 60 years yeah. yeah and i understand there are other ways because i've been to other countries previously and they could care less about what happens in america unless it affects them directly yeah. you don't hear the news from them you don't it's not on their news it's not on you know it's not on the streets and so in a way that Hopefully, when I look back at America and go back, I'll have a different viewpoint, possibly, or more open mind about how I feel about things currently. Yeah. So one last question. Yes. When you finally reach your final destination, yes. you've settled in. Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to do the things I've been doing for the past seven years. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, I, I'm continuously learning. Uh, continuously, I'm interested in... Learning this, Spanish. Yeah, learning Spanish is yeah. a big one. I'd like to finish learning Korean. Mm -hmm. And then I would also like to, you know, I keep learning about biology, physics, and um, those kind of things, and continue to play music. I've been playing guitar for 50 years. So, oh, wow. And I, it's like my meditation, my zen, when I play in practice. Sure, yeah. sure. So. Well, that's great. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I, I hate to hear people say, you know, well, I mean, the generation before us, retirement was sit at home, watch TV. Yes, and, it was. You know, and wait to die. I yeah, mean, yeah, I that's that terrible. In the 55 and older community that I lived oh in my God. before I came here, yeah. you know, and it's like now I say, let's get busy. We're yeah. retired. We can do what we want to do now. Exactly. And it, it doesn't, it can be fun. You know, so, I look at it like this. I'm, if I go to another country, especially, I get a chance to learn the language, hopefully. Because, mm -hmm. you know, communication is what human beings are, mm -hmm. need yeah. to do. And I want to be involved in the community, and I want to be involved with what's going on in their worlds, because that's my world now. Yeah. And so that's how I look at it, to be part of wherever I'm going to be, Good. to be active in it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I'm glad I got to meet you, and, and I, I did get to meet you once before, briefly, and we had a bunch of people yeah. here, and I, I don't remember, yeah. who was the other couple that was... Nacho and yeah, not yeah. Oh yeah, they're right. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, kids wonderful there. people. Absolutely. So, guy that has the same car as me, so Absolutely. he's got to be good. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> actually, it's her car. Her car. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. It's Anna's car. <laughs> so even more credit to her. <laughs> she recently gave Nacho a motorcycle. Oh really? Oh, my. Nice, nice. She nice. must have money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an ontologist. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. She's got a good job. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, listen. Good luck to you. Keep in touch. Keep, stay tuned to my channel and Aces. Absolutely. And let us know what you're doing. So, you guys have been so helpful we'll, to me, we'll both see of you. you. Yeah, so. we'll see you when you get back. Absolutely. All right, good. Ciao, Thank ciao. You. Right. Bye now.